Yo guys, say what's up? It's your boy here. Um, I just had to come on here to do this this quick review of Money in the Bank. I just finished watching it as I um was unpacking some things, uh my uh apartment here, um, as I was watching the pay-per-view. Um it just concluded, the pay-per-view just concluded. And like I said, I had to just come up here right away to talk about this. So I gotta say, um, all in all, it was not a bad pay-per-view. It wasn't. Um, I missed the pre-show and I missed out on the women's money in the bank ladder match because, excuse me, when their match was, uh, starting, I was cooking, but just to get into some of the highlights, uh, I, I know Becky obviously won the women's, uh, ladder match. Um, I don't even remember what was the first match that I walked into when I actually got to like sit, sit down after I was done cooking. Um, was it Becky versus uh, uh, Lacey Evans? I think it was. Um, that was an okay match. It was fine. Um, I think Lacey Evans is definitely going to be a future player in the women's division in WWE this year in 2019. Um, Becky retained. Right after that, Charlotte um, <coughs> came in to challenge for the SmackDown title. Um, due to a distraction from Lacey, Charlotte got the uh, upper hand on Becky. Becky two belts, no more. Um, after Charlotte wins the SmackDown title, her and Lacey both uh, double team Becky and starts beating her down. Bailey then comes out with briefcase in hand, makes the save for Becky, realizes that Charlotte is down and out, gives her the uh, cashes in the briefcase right there, um, gives her the elbow drop, pans and wins. Becky, now the new, new SmackDown Women's Championship. Uh, the crowd was pretty hot for that. Um, so that was cool. Uh, we have after that. I'm trying to remember, I don't remember what we had after that. Anyway, uh, Universal Title Match: Seth Rollins versus AJ Styles. Hell of a match. Um, I said on Twitter tonight, uh, best match I've ever seen for the Universal Title since that title's inception. So these guys put it out on the line. There's some close near falls. I definitely want to see another match between these two um, in the future for sure. That's that's money on the table. They they can't just do a one and done with Rollins and AJ and not go back to it at some point. Um, so that was awesome match. Uh, Rollins retained him being the workhorse champion that I know he can be, and to me he's the right guy to be the universal champion right now because like I've always said for years, Rollins is a workhorse, and to me he reminds me in the sense of you know he's like one of those guys like a. Uh, uh, a Shawn Michaels or a Bret Hart, where if you put the title on him, he's going to make it mean something, and he's he's going to fight like hell and be a fighting champion. And there's not that many guys on the current roster I feel that can give me that feeling or that reminiscing of, you know, a Bret Hart or a Shawn Michaels in that regard. So Rollins is that guy. Um, solid match. Um, Kingston versus Kevin Owens for the WWE Championship match. Good match. Um, I don't think I don't think his feet with, with, with Owens is done. I think they probably have one more program together because I don't know who else Kingston can really face. I can think right now on the SmackDown brand. Then we get into the main event itself, the Money in the Bank men's ladder match. Um, I was also mentioned on Twitter. First time ever that we've had a uh, first time we've ever had a Money in the Bank match main event the pay-per-view it's named after. Um, but yeah, uh, this match actually consisted of seven people. Um, earlier in the night, uh, Sami Zayn was like tied up. It like, looks like someone tied him up and beat him down. Uh, Triple H speculated it was Braun Strowman, told Braun he is not going to replace Sami Zayn just because of what he did. Br Braun's like, what are you talking about? Triple H said, hey, you're out of this match. Not only will you not be in this match, but you're going to be, you know, uh, 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 exempt from the building. So the Bunny in the Bank ladder match consisted of seven competitors instead of eight. Uh, kind of knew something was, was a little bit offbeat. But as for the match itself, awesome Money in the Bank ladder match. Probably one of the best ones I've seen in a while. Um, I mean, guys were, this is a fucking car crash. I mean, from the bump that Finn Balor took with the power bomb from uh, 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 Andrade Cien Almas. Gnarly. He took a powerbomb and he popped up like 
it hurt. It looked like it hurt a lot. Uh, Ricochet took some bumps. Uh, Andrade and 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 uh, oh, what's his name? Andrade and uh, uh, Ali took some major bumps. Excellent match. Looked like Ali was going to get the briefcase. He was this close to getting it. And what do we hear? We hear Brock Lesnar's music play. At that point, I knew where it was going. I laughed my ass off. Brock comes out in full gear, knocks over uh, 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 Ali, takes his sweet-ass time climbing that ladder, and he has this bastard smile on his face, trolling the fans and all his people booing him, and reaches up for the briefcase, takes it, and wins. Brock Lesnar was the eighth man. He was the replacement for Finn Balor in this ladder match. He comes in last minute after, you know, the, the landscape is cleared. The damage has been done by all the competitors. Walks is right in that bitch, takes that money in the bank briefcase, and wins. I laugh my ass off. I honestly did not get upset. I know a lot of people will be upset, but I honestly did not get upset because I laugh my ass off at this. I laugh at this. Because all it does, not just just for me, but I think just for a lot of fans, it just fuels them more, and it's just going to push them more into AEW's direction come next weekend for Double or Nothing. That's all it's going to do. Now, I know that they're going to have this uh, uh, the Super Showdown in Saudi Arabia within a, week or, within a week or two. It was reported, or rumored, I should say, rather, that Brock Lesnar was going to face Seth Rollins for the Universal title. We didn't know how that was going to come about. Well, we found out tonight that's the that's how they're going to do it. Have Brock Lesnar cast in his briefcase for a rematch. Um, I think, honestly, it's a waste because I don't think Brock Lesnar needs a Money in the Bank briefcase. And I love Brock Lesnar. I like a lot of people that hate and bitch on him a lot. I don't hate Brock Lesnar. I love Brock Lesnar. Um, he's one of my favorites of all time. He's one of the last few guys of my favorite era of wrestling who's still around. Um, Cause I think once Brock is gone, you know, like fully gone, I think a lot of people are going to, uh, they're going to look back and kind of, sometimes you, sometimes you don't end up appreciating a superstar until they're really, really gone. So guys like Randy Orton, Brock Lesnar, I appreciate them because they're, they're like the last guys from my era left. Um, at least in my teenage years growing up watching. Um, but despite all that, uh, it, it, it's just like, I'd be damned. It's like, I think that I, I was really pulling for McIntyre first place. I was full of, I was pulling for McIntyre. If not McIntyre, um, Andrade was a second choice, but for them to have Brock tonight, like I said, I, I just couldn't get up. I just, I shook my head at like WWE. What are you doing? Like, I get why you're doing this. You're doing this for the Saudi Arabia, Saudi Arabia show in two weeks. This is to give Brock an excuse to have a rematch, but man, I just, I just can't help, just can't help but shake my head at this. Um, it does kind of make me wonder though, in two weeks, will they give the belt back to Brock Lesnar? Because what happened at WrestleMania, they got to figure a different way for Seth Rollins to beat Brock Lesnar. Um, cause he basically beat Brock Lesnar, you know, Kind of by, you know, doing a little, taking a page out of Eddie Guerrero's line, cheating still. Kicked Brock in the balls and took advantage of that. And that's how he got the belt from at WrestleMania. So I'm kind of leery now at this point. How are they going to have Rollins retain against Brock at the Super Show? Disqualification? Um, is the match going to have like a gimmick to it? That's kind of concerning <laughs> for me. Um, like I said, I love Brock Lesnar. I enjoyed his first run as WWE champion back in 2015 because it had been like almost like eight years since he had left the company. I enjoyed his first run as WWE champion back in 2015 or his fourth, fourth run, I should say, not his first, but his first run back in, you know, almost a decade. I enjoyed that in 2015. His first run as Universal Champion was okay. I mean, I think they have him having it for a year was kind of somewhat pushing it. And then them to give the belt right back to him a second time uh, uh, after that, when uh, when Roman got hurt, I think was uncalled for. But whatever the case may be, uh, right now they need to give Brock a breather and holding the championship gold. 
give it a year. If the man still wants to work in WWE for the next three years, give it a while. But I definitely think they should hold their horses before they uh, consider putting a world title on Brock Lesnar again. Um, like I said, this is going to piss a lot of people off. And all it's just going to do is just give AEW. It's, it's giving fans more reasons. You know, I know tomorrow on Raw, they're going to announce a new championship. WWE are trying to do all these new things. I'm going to talk, I'm, I'm going to talk about all this in, in, in a separate video. Um, definitely, if not tonight, definitely tomorrow, I'm going to talk about this. But WWE are scrambling. They, they, they're scrambling for ideas and new things. Um, but yeah, you guys let me know what you about Money in the Bank. What did you think about this, uh, the main event? The ending to the main event, I should say, rather. Brock Lesnar winning Money in the Bank. Did you find it his, hysterical as I did? I want to hear your thoughts in the box below. Comment, subscribe. Peace.